Hey everybody, welcome back to another Dragon Quest Stars video. You may have noticed that this is a re-upload of my Dragon Quest V event uh, and War God banner review. I decided to cut the banner review part out of this video um, because I just wasn't happy with it. After putting it up, um, I watched through it again and um, looked at some of the comments and normally I watch, watch stuff uh, before I put it up, but it's you might have been able to tell I was pretty tired uh, when making it, so I'd, I'd like to do a better job at it. So I've taken the video down. This video is going to be just the Dragon Quest uh, Whistle uh, guide, and then uh, I'll do a separate video with the banner another time. So thanks for watching. I apologize for putting that banner review out, and I'll make sure that I uh, do a better job next time. Thanks. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna talk all about these whistles that are currently available in the event. Uh, there's six total that you can get uh, that will drop from the missions, and they seem to have a pretty high drop rate. So we're gonna go over all of that, uh, but first let's take a look at the whistles. So the first one that you can get is a slime whistle, and all these whistles are going to have the name of the monster that you uh, that came to your aid. So this slime was called Goobzin, but there's other other names that you can get as well. And it's going to have they're all going to have assist slime strike, uh, which is 180% potency attack, single enemy critical hit possible. So that's a really good ability um, just to have a nice little atta a little attack, uh, and then that's not even upgraded yet so that can get more powerful. So it's already a, f a fine skill as it is and then uh, the CT is pretty low and you're adding an extra skill onto your loadout so it's it's not a bad way to go. So these, these whistles all have that that in common. Uh, so after the slime whistle, we have the, um, let's see here, the slime knight. Uh, so this is my Arthur whistle or slime knight whistle and he has assist charge which does 170 potency attack with a 50% chance to stun, which is obviously a pretty useful status effect to put on an enemy, so it's nice to kind of have that in your pocket. You can put that on any character, uh, and that's pretty nice as well. So there's going to be a similar one. We have Robert, which is the... Um, the walking corpse enemy. Uh, so this one is going to have assist past glory uh, and it's going to be 170 potency attack as well but this time it's going to have a 50% chance to inflict defense down. So this would be useful to use at the beginning of a combo or just in general on your enemy before you you whack them with a bunch of stuff. Uh, so again, nice little utility whistles here. And and uh, if you don't need the extra resist or skills off of other whistles, or sorry, other accessories, uh, then these are gonna be a really cool way to add extra attacks to your party. Uh, next up, we have the Orc King whistle and this one is is really, um, this is like the top rated one. Uh, this one has multi heal. So it's going to be uh, just a heal on all uh, allies. Uh, you can only use it once per um once per battle, but or once per, per quest, uh, but the CT is super high on it, so you need to upgrade it in order to get that down so that it will charge up so that you can actually use that. So that's gonna need some upgrading, but that is a tremendous, uh, just a really good utility thing to have on any character, uh, but it also boosts your magic healing and your defense. So in general, it's just going to be a solid, solid accessory, um, but also just going to give you that extra healing that you need to fight some of the harder battles. So that's very cool as well. Uh, then we also have the liquid slime whistle. And this one is uh, has a Kassiz effect, uh, which is going to hit all enemies. So it's just a Sizz attack on everybody, and it's got defense and magic attack 10. Uh, so again, a solid, solid thing to add on, just an AoE attack. Uh, that one is harder to get than the other ones because you have to have the liquid metal slime spawn in order to get the drop. Uh, and then finally, we have the Golem... Uh, whistle uh, and this one has the missile kick which is a uh, an hit everybody uh 160 percent potency rebel rouser type attack 
So again, nice little AoE attack uh, to hit everybody. Uh, and this one's got a higher CT as well, and this one has a defense boost of 10. So just let's take a quick look. These other ones, they all have um, stat boosts as well, which is, uh, which is really nice. So we didn't look at the, the knight. Uh, so the knight and the slime both have um, defense 5 and uh, attack plus 3. Uh, and then which one? Did we, oh yeah, the zombie. We didn't look at this guy. Uh, so this one has defense 5 and max HP 5. So uh, not a bad way to go. So if you want these whistles, you can farm, I believe you can farm uh, a full party set. So 3 uh, of each one. And if you want to do that, you just need to head over to the limited time events and go on into the Heavenly Bride. Uh, so I've been farming these at um, the hero level here. So uh, on these missions here and I got most of my whistles first time and sometimes it took like two to three times to get it so the the drop rate for the whistles seems very high which is very nice uh, and I'll just kind of go over which which missions have which whistles so uh, you can always check as well uh, by hitting this little scroll on the side here so when you hit this and you scroll down to the bottom it's actually going to show you all the monsters here that you can uh, that you can uh, fight in this level and if the, one of them is the monster that's on the whistle then that whistle will be able to drop. So we have a slime here uh, so that means a slime can drop from this mission. So if you want the slime whistle you're gonna go to the reckless hero or sorry reckless adventure mission right at the very top. If you want the walking corpse then you're gonna skip two down to emotional return hero uh, and this is gonna be your mission there you can see at the very bottom to get your walking corpse whistle. Next up we have uh, the liquid metal is going to be in two different levels so uh, truth uh, in the mirror and also near the ones you love down here both of these are going to have uh metal slimes as possible sorry liquid metal slimes uh, as possible enemies uh, and that will drop your liquid metal slime whistle uh, next up we have the slime knight and if you want the slime knight then you're going to have to go to hopeful voyage right here uh, and as you can see again we've got metal slime knight and slime knights so you can get those uh, Orc King is up next and he is in the Inherited Challenge. Uh, so that is right here with Robin Hood. Uh, and this is obviously a high priority because he's the heal all whistle. So you definitely want to farm that one three times because that's going to be super useful. And then finally, we've got the Golem. And the Golem is in the Tower of the Dragon God Hero. So uh, in this mission, you will fight uh, golems uh, you can also fight liquid slimes uh, and that's got a couple of chances to get you some some whistles which is really nice so uh, good luck farming all your whistles I hope you get them all quickly uh, but what you can also be doing when you're doing this this uh, event there's a couple of cool things one there's a chance when you win a, a fight or a battle for there to be a stamina drop and that will actually give you back some stamina that you spent so you might actually be able to do more than uh, your uh, than you think when you start to farm these uh, as you can see my stamina is pretty low because I'm not that far in the main uh, quest I'm playing three gadgets right now so uh, the main story in Dragon Quest has not been a priority for me I'm starting to work through it again now uh, to try to catch up so I've got quite a bit of ways to go but I'll hopefully get my stamina up soon uh, so it was appreciated that we got some of that uh, some stamina drops in this level but uh, you can also get event tickets at uh, from this event and there's silver and gold tickets and there uh, there's a ticket system here in your squirrel village where you can trade in the different event tickets for lots of really good stuff so we've got I've got 93 silver tickets and there are some glamour pieces here that I can trade for. Um, they don't do very much in terms of uh, defense, so these are just for your glamour. Uh, the boxer shorts are are really cool, so I might have to buy those. Uh, but otherwise, there are some nice stuff there. You know, if you need this. 
there's some nice little pieces here, but you can get these with other points, so I don't think this is mandatory to buy. The main thing you're going to get with these silver tickets are gold tickets. So for every 10 silver tickets, you can get 10 uh, or one gold ticket, and that's where the really good stuff is. So you can get all the Gotha stuff, um, and this is the stuff that... Uh, you get uh, from the event quests anyway, so you can farm it that way as well. Uh, but with this, uh, you can make some max gear that is decent, especially if you just started. Uh, and there's a bunch of different things here that you can get. But again, it all drops from the event too, so you can farm it that way. There are also some accessories, uh, and these accessories have some stats on them, but they also have some cool uh, different little... Um, auto abilities so there's ones that you might not have seen here throws so three percent chance to get 30 plus agility at the start of the turn or 30 percent which is really good um if it procs but it's pretty inconsistent so uh these seem pretty cool but they don't seem necessarily uh mandatory to get what is very interesting and there's limited amounts available are these uh, alchemy ingredients. So you're going to want to farm these if possible and it's you can farm quite a bit because uh, this will give you a really good head start on alchemizing all your stuff and just getting it all uh, upgraded. So you definitely, if, if this is something you have time to play, you want to farm these silver tickets, you can also get gold tickets to drop uh, and then you're going to be able to buy up all of this alchemy stuff. So I'm definitely going to be trying to do that at some point here if I can find the time to. All right, that's going to be it for the Dragon Quest V event uh, whistle guide. But now I want to hear from you. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about the video, uh, what you think about all the different whistles, if you're going to be using certain ones over others, and what your plan for the event is. Are you farming gold tickets too? Uh, and then otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can show your support with a like and subscribe and by checking out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Gaming. Until next time, keep it real, Mycidians.